I get a lot of questions about the difference between The Sims 3 and The Sims 4 camera mode. So today I'm gonna show you the difference and how to use the cinematic camera mode as well, because I don't think a lot of people know about it or how to use it. So we're gonna talk about that too. This is a tutorial for playing on PC or Mac. I've never played on console, so I'm not super familiar with those controls. If you need a tutorial on console controls, check out this video by Ragey Bop Gaming for PS4. It's linked down below. I haven't found a tutorial for Xbox yet. So if you know of a good one, feel free to link it in the comments. By default, when you first start up the game, the very first time playing it, you will be using the Sims 4 camera mode. The Sims 4 camera is a little bit easier to use, but you have less control over your movement. The controls with the Sims 4 camera are left mouse to grab and pull to move wherever you want to go. You can press and hold the scroll wheel to more fluidly move across the area. You can scroll the scroll wheel to zoom in and out, and then your right mouse button will rotate. You can also use WASD or the arrow keys on your keyboard to move around. You can also use the greater than and less than sign to rotate and then plus and minus to zoom in and out. In live mode, the controls are the exact same. The only difference is it will kind of level out as you can see here and you'll be kind of eye level with your Sims. And if you go up here to the little camera in the top right corner where it says camera controls, you can also zoom in and out this way and rotate this way in either of the camera modes. This camera is great to use if you are new to The Sims 4 or if you're playing on a laptop with a touchpad. The Sims 3 camera is a little bit more difficult to learn but gives you a lot more functionality with the camera. Change the camera mode, go up here to the right corner of your game and click on the little camera and choose Sims 3 camera. The left mouse button is only used to select and rotate items like this. Also, a little perk with using the Sims 3 camera is that it allows you to freely rotate items. So if I take the little flamingo here and I just rotate it normally, it kind of snaps to the grid at each turn. But if you are in the Sims 3 camera mode and hold alt while you rotate, you can freely rotate it to adjust the angle to be exactly what you want. Press and hold the scroll wheel to freely change the angle of your camera. You can go in any sort of direction you want to until you are level with the ground itself. You can also get a full bird's eye view as well. Scrolling on the scroll wheel again will move it in and out and the right mouse button will let you move around the lot freely like this. All the hotkeys work for this camera mode as well, but they won't give you the fluid movement like the mouse controls do. In live mode, the controls are the exact same and there's no noticeable difference. That's the basics of the Sims 3 and Sims 4 camera modes in The Sims. Now we're gonna talk about the cinematic camera. If you've ever seen any stop motion, speed builds, or fancy smooth camera work in The Sims, that is the tab camera mode. Firstly, to access the cinematic camera, press tab while in live mode. If you have the better build by mod from Twisted Mexi, you can also do it in build mode. The tab camera controls are the same for the camera controls for Sims 3 and 4 camera for the keyboard. You can use the arrow keys or WASD to move around. You can use plus and minus to zoom in and out. And then a little bit different is that you can't use the greater than or less than symbols to rotate, but you can use your mouse to fully change the direction of your camera. Combine that with the arrow keys to get different angles. And then to get different heights, you press Q to lower and E to raise up. Now, if any of those movements seem a little too slow for you, hold shift while you are using those keys and it'll go a lot faster. And finally, for the camera mode itself, if you if you click with your left mouse button, it'll lock the camera in that position and you can move your mouse. And then if you left click again, you'll have access to the free cam again and then hit tab to exit. Now, if you want to create smooth movement from two camera points, we first have to set a camera point. So this is going to be my camera point that we're going to use. So I'm going to press control five. You can have up to five different camera points with the keys five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Now, as a little side note, if you've ever been trying to use the nine key to raise an item up and it doesn't work and it throws you somewhere else in the lot, it's because you have a camera point set. So if you want to get rid of that, hold alt and nine at the same time and it'll reset that so it'll work again to raise it up. So now that you have your first camera point set, anytime you move away from it and press the number that you set it to, it'll move right back to it, just like this. So now you wanna pick your second camera point. So go ahead and figure that out. So I wanna have a nice pan over the house. So this is where I want my next camera point to be. This is where I want it to end. So I'm gonna hit control six to set this one in. And then I can go back and forth between the two of them pretty quickly like this. And if you hold shift, it'll snap between the camera points that you have set. Now to get that smooth movement that you see in speed builds and machinimas and anything else, press tab to get rid of all the UI and then press your camera point and it'll go just like this. And like I said, you can set many camera points. So here are a few other ones. 
And you can even use this to go inside of your builds as well. Just like that. And then to exit this camera mode, again, just hit tab and it'll bring you right out. There is an external setting to control the camera a little bit more if you want more freedom with it, but it is completely optional. But don't worry, it's not going to break the game. To access these additional settings, you need to go to the, the video camera INI file and the path that is right here on the screen. There's a lot of stuff in this little menu, but don't worry, we're only messing with the very bottom thing. So this number here at the very bottom represents the speed of the camera when moving from point A to point B. Right now, mine is set for five seconds. I think that's a pretty good standard time to go for but you can change this so if you want it to go really fast you can put it to like one or two seconds if you want it really long you can do more 10 seconds 20 30 however long you want it to be you can change that right here and then right above it you can also adjust the camera a little bit more and you have four different options the default is linear which is a constant camera speed so from point a to point b the camera will go at the exact same speed it's not going to speed up it's not going to slow down another option is easy in where it starts slow at point a and ends fast towards point B. There's also easy out where it starts up fast at point A and slows down at point B. And then there is easy in out where it starts slow, speeds up in the middle and ends slow. So with those different options, you can really adjust your videos. Once you decide what you're gonna do, make sure you press X on this little menu and save your settings. Also make sure your game is closed while you're doing this. If it's open, I don't think it'll mess anything up, but I don't think it's gonna go into effect until you close and reopen your game. So make sure your game is closed while you do this. So that is all of the camera controls for The Sims 4, or at least all of the controls that I know of and I use. If you have any questions about any of the controls, feel free to comment down below, and then hopefully I or someone else will be able to help you with your questions. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe, and also leave a comment and tell me what camera mode you use. Do you Sims 3 camera or Sims 4 camera. I use the Sims 3 camera, but I've really only been using that for a little over a year. So I, I use the Sims 4 camera for a long time. Both are very valid uses of camera. Don't bully anyone for using one that's different than yours. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Happy simming.